Good morning. We're in the Gospel of John. I really want to commend you. You're reading the Bible each and every day. One chapter from each book of the Bible. Already we're completing the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This morning on my prayer walk, I invite you to join me. Reading through John chapter 1, and my heart's been drawn to John chapter 10. What a powerful word that Jesus gives to us. Oh my, he is my shepherd. Say it out loud with me. Jesus is my shepherd. He gathers all the sheep. That's what it says in the Gospel of John chapter 10. Jesus gathers all the sheep. And it goes on to say, the shepherd, Jesus, goes ahead of us. Sometimes on my morning prayer walk, I have the privilege of coming here and hiking in the city. It's a little dicey and you got to figure out how to get to a place where you're not going to get your feet all muddy and all wet and you slide around. It's, uh, it's hard when you're alone, but we're not alone. Jesus is our shepherd and he goes before us. Then the Bible says that Jesus, Jesus sets the pace for us and we follow him. Isn't that something? We follow the Lord. It says in the Gospel of John that Jesus, because he's our shepherd, will literally sacrifice his life for us. My, that is so amazing. He's our shepherd and he leads us and we follow him. And then he's willing to sacrifice his life for us. I love reading the Bible. I've been listening to praise music all morning long. I've been thinking like King David wrote, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Oh, what a privilege it is to walk here and hike in this natural open space in our city. I can see the green meadows here. I can imagine the sheep gathering and the shepherd going before them. I can see how he would lead us to green pastures and how he would lead us beside still waters. I see already the blue heron and the great white egrets. There's some Canadian geese. Oh my, there's some ducks over here. What a beautiful place that Lord Jesus leads you and I beside the still waters by the green pastures. Oh, read through and prayerfully consider with me what it is when we come to the Gospel of John, focusing and reflecting on John chapter 10. He goes before us. He's willing to sacrifice his life for us. And we, we listen to his voice. We follow him. And don't forget, Jesus said in this passage of scripture, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Well, to have a life and have it more abundantly means several things. It means that you're following him. It means that he's become your personal shepherd. It means that you are listening to his voice. Oh, he loves you. He loves us so much. He guides us, he protects us, and yes, he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. And I commend you for reading the Bible each and every day. Continue to walk in the word of God every day, filling your heart with his promises. You be blessed today in Jesus name.